Hello and Asalaamu Alaikum Welcome back to Ali Raja Bagan 2020 Part 13 I am your host Akibullah I am Ali Raja Asalaamu Alaikum Are you using too much fertilizer? Now in this episode we will be discussing how often you should fertilize vegetable garden and we will also try to answer some of your questions that you have raised in the comment section now as always we're going to give you an update of our vegetable garden don't skip watch the video till the end and do something amazing hit that subscribe button if you want to stay notified every time we upload the video hit that notification bell without further ado dad let's start gardening let's start gardening all living things need food like we do plant food is known as fertilizer there are three essential nutrients a plant needs to survive there are other nu smaller nutrients but let's stick to the main three npk now n stands for nitrogen p stands for phosphorus and k stands for potassium nitrogen helps for the plant growth leaves so it's up phosphorus is down is for the root to get stronger and it helps uh, the plant to flower and K potassium is all around uh, uh, for, for the plant for the uh, for the well-being of the plant things like to help to help fight the disease dad adding more fertilizer on your plants does it mean we get more fruits uh, not necessarily. Okay, look, you're 11 year old and yeah. I'm much more big and stronger than you are. Yeah, you are. If you eat the same amount as I do, you I'll become fat. You're going to become fat, you're going to become ill. But if I eat your amount, I'm going to get skinny. Yeah. So I will. need to have sufficient food for my body. And you like pizza. Yeah, yes? I love pizza. You like your pizza, you like your um, lasagna you like and all those things. But I like my rice and curries. So if you know what fertilizer your plant likes you will have more success and you can save a lot more money all right let's uh, let's talk about how we fertilize uh, our, our, our plants now this chili plant uh, we when we transplanted this chili plant we added uh, um, slow release fertilizers things like uh, chicken manure and uh, fish blood and bone about a couple of weeks ago, uh, this chili plant started to bloom. This is when I um, used uh, liquid tomato fertilizer. And look at the result. It's, we're getting plenty of chili. Plenty of it. Look at the flowers here. Look, look at this plant. The, the, these are the plants that we've overwintered from last year. And look how many chilies we're getting. We are, we are really happy with the result of this plant. Really happy. I'm so glad that we have saved this plant. Fantastic. So normally when your chili plants start to bloom, that's when you use liquid tomato fertilizer. That's what, I, what we use. And we turn to do really well. About six weeks ago, uh, we added uh, um, slow release fertilizer on this in this pot and mashallah this plant is really doing really well um, this is one of the plants that we saved from last year and i can see this plant start to bloom it's time for us to add liquid tomato feed into this uh, pot so let's show you how we add liquid tomato feed it says i should use 20 ml in 4.5 liters of water but i got a 10 liter watering can so i'm going to be using 40 ml that's exactly 40 ml now we have to add it in the watering can mix it properly so it dilutes properly many new gardeners don't know when to water the plant or um, they water it but they water they over flood it or they don't give enough water this is a technique that we use get your index finger and stick it into the soil bring it back out 
and if the tip of your finger is uh, moist it means it doesn't need water but if it's dry it means it needs some water this plant is quite dry so that's why we're going to be giving it a good drink we're going to stop watering it until we see water coming out of the bottom all around the soil can you see the water's dripping out from the bottom that means it has enough water look at this you can see it come up we don't need to feed our plants for seven to ten days but when it comes to water i don't think tomorrow we need to water it but if it's a really hot day just check with the technique that i showed you by sticking your index finger into the soil we planted this banglalau in a container and we have made a video on it. If you haven't watched that video, I'll leave it in the link in the description down below. So please don't forget to check that out. It's very interesting. But look how, look how amazing this banglalau plant looks. It looks really healthy. It's doing really well. It's doing fantastic. Yeah, yeah it thing. is. Um, it's already... Um, this evening is probably going to start blooming, isn't it, Dad? It's actually okay, it's starting to bloom now. We've oh. got, look, look over here. It's, already think, it's starting to bloom now. We're going to be, I think it's time to add some liquid tomato feed on this plant, so isn't it, Dad? So, so, so the last time we added fertilizer on this plant, it was about uh, six weeks, weeks ago. ago. We yeah. added chicken manure and fish, fish blood, and, blood bone. and bone. And I think we're going to just carry on feeding with the liquid tomato uh, fertilizer every, every seven to ten days. Kid, yeah. um, and mashallah, hopefully in, in a week's time we should start getting, fruits. Start, start getting fruits on this one. Maybe, hope, maybe in about two or three weeks time we'll be harvesting our first lau from this plant. Yeah, it's already climbed up to the tree list. Yeah, it's doing, it's doing well. So if you haven't seen uh, how we planted that uh, plant we'll leave the link in the description down below it's a very interesting video if you're going hodl this year we haven't watered this plant in a few days let's just check if it's moist so actually kind of dry actually so we need to add some water to this plant and we're going to stop adding some water until we see it dripping from the bottom and it's a really big part plant, it needs some lots so, of water. So we're actually feeding this plant with uh, liquid uh, uh, tomato, tomato fertilizer. Feed. And um, we will continue to um, add tomato feed every 7 to 10 days. Make sure you spread the water all around it. You can see it drip from the bottom. So the water is dripping from the bottom now. It so means it has enough water. So we have good drainage also. These are the chili plant uh, that we've um, planted about a few weeks ago in a self-watering container. And it's doing quite good. It looks really healthy. So we don't have to water this plant because it waters itself in this uh, container. Uh, we made a video ha on how to um, make your own self-watering container for your chili plant if you haven't seen that video again we'll leave it in the description down below let's give you a quick update of our garden these are our cucumbers that we have planted a couple of weeks ago and they're looking really healthy aren't they dad yeah they've settled down quite nicely yeah um, some of them are starting to flower. Yes, I think uh, one or two are actually starting to fruit now. I can see there's one here starting to fruit. Over here. Yeah, this is looking nice. And uh, this one, we're not going to actually fertilize them because when we planted them, we've used the slow release fertilizer onto the ground. I'm going to wait until the plants uh, grow taller, yeah. maybe another couple of weeks and then i will be adding a uh, liquid tomato fertilizer on them yeah okay. these are our bamboo sticks that we have put into the ground for our cucumbers to climb up to on. 
we've made a video on how to grow potatoes in a shopping bag oh my god look how bushy it is i can't wait to get lots of potatoes from this shopping bag look how big it's gone it's looking fantastic isn't yeah, it yeah it's gone massive we've grown these potatoes around the same time and if you're wondering why these potatoes leaves haven't come out yet is because we planted the potatoes without a chit it will come out soon but it will t just take a little longer there's more cucumber plants here we planted again okay, didn't we yeah we have and uh, some Louse. low plant and this they're settling down quite nicely um they're doing quite well but we're having problem with foxes yeah the foxes keep digging them out. and the foxes keep digging them out from the ground um I don't know what, what to do with it so if you if any of you know how to deal with this please let me know because we're getting a lot of problem with the foxes this is a plant let me show you this plant was doing pretty well and look at the state of it now the and fox dig the foxes dug, dug, dug it up and uh, this this plant here been dug up twice by the fox but it's still um, uh, to survive it's a, it's, a, it's, a, it's a survivor this plant our lemon plants doing really well we're starting to get new lemons off this lemon plant oh it's doing fantastic aren't they i know uh, i'm hoping to get about 20 to 30 lemon uh, from these small plants here uh, this is this is just one of our lemon plants we got another one it's got lots of lemon new lemons coming out and the fragrance smell really good look let me try some Mmm, it smells really nice. I love the smell of fresh lemons. Turn that uh, uh, pot around just slowly. Let me see how many more. Turn, turn it that way, okay? Turn it that way. Without disturbing. One big one. That's a nice big size one. Oh, look how many we've got here. Oh, wow looking really good got a few on this side oh my god dad look at the size of this one. Oh wow look at that i think we're gonna get lots of lemons, uh, lemons from this uh, from this plant here oh look at the strawberry plant look at our strawberries they're uh, they're ripening already i had a few last yesterday actually <laughs> i didn't tell you about it but i'm gonna try one right now yeah, let's try this. Mmm, that's really sweet. That is really nice. Strawberries are one of my favorite fruits. Okay, These save, taste save, the, save that one for your mom, otherwise she's gonna get upset. Oh, but I'm. Because I had few yesterday. This last year in May month we have less than 100 subscribers. But now we nearly have 9,000 subscribers. You guys are amazing. Thank you so much for, uh, you know, uh, supporting us. Thank you so much for subscribing to our YouTube channel. We are nearly going to 10,000. If you haven't subscribed to our channel, do something amazing and take us to 10,000. And we are so close from nine to 10. I'm hoping to do that in the next few weeks. We can never do this without you guys. It's all of you because you supported us through all this journey, haven't they, Dad? We started this channel um, we did not even imagine that we would reach this many subscribers in a very uh, uh, in less than one year. Uh, I don't know what to say. Thank you so much. It's just unbelievable. A dream come true. All of you have been so kind and have been uh, um, sharing your videos on Facebook, on Instagram, and uh, if you haven't, uh, we have a Facebook account and we have an Instagram account. We will leave the account link in the description below. You can follow us on Facebook and Instagram. And um, thank you so much for your comments that you've been sending every week. Me and Aki, we go through, go through every single uh, messages. Sometimes we don't do it straight away. We might get too many messages at the same time, but we do try to answer the messages as soon as we can. Your messages really motivate us to make our next video. You're, you guys are really kind. It's the end of Ramadan. 
and I'm sure you had a fantastic Ramadan and you had a fantastic Eid. I know Eid was different this year. Mm. Because of lockdown. Because of lockdown we could not travel to family's house and uh, invite family over. But we had a little party in our garden uh, on Eid day. We had a little, little barbecue and um, we're going we, we made a video about it. Yeah, and we're going to be uploading it on Akib's Fun TV very soon this week. So stay tuned for that. And if you do visit Akib's Fun TV, please don't forget to subscribe. I really hope you enjoy watching our videos. Uh, and uh, if you do, don't forget to give us a thumbs up uh, and um, share our videos. And comment down below. Stay safe. Asalaamu Alaikum. Until then, I'll see you in the next one. Happy gardening. Stay safe. Asalaamu Alaikum. I'll see you in the next one. Say bye, Harry. It's time to get my daily exercise. Come on, Dad, let's get some exercise.